Good morning, guys. We're out here at the farm today, and uh, we're taking a little break from the door project. Um, that's why it's called Unfinished Farm. Really, just uh, we haven't having a little trouble getting the the lock set in that I need, so uh, we're just taking just today, and we're going to do a project that I've been meaning to do um, since last year. This is our creek right here, uh, runs through the property, and in this little area. Uh, my wife likes to take the kids and swim in the spring, in the summer. Um, the problem is they saw a snake and that kind of did them in as far as being down here. And so what I'm going to do is take in, clear out all this, cut these trees up, cut all this brush back and clear out an area to where they can um, hopefully swim and enjoy themselves snake free. Um, I also got to clean out this pipe. There's a big pipe that runs under the road I'm standing on and we had some rain and it is really, really clogged up right now. So I got to do that too. So I'm just going to take you guys along as I'm doing that and uh, we'll get to work. So I started off as clearing out what I just assumed was a clog from the rain we had. Turned out it was a beginning, the beginnings of a beaver dam um, with all the stick. You see how long this stick is right here. I mean, they just, they were packed in there. Um, I noticed a lot of mud and leaves and stuff that were packed down. So it was a little more than just a clog. Um, and I even found some of the limbs that were fresh that they had chewed up. So I spent a lot more time than I anticipated doing that and didn't actually um, get everything done that I had intended to get done originally. So unfinished farm. Wow, talk about snakes. We got a copperhead right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sunbathing. I guess they were right. Wow. Okay. I want to take care of him, and then I'll be back with you. Right here, I'm using a Forester Chainsaw Tooth 9-inch brush blade. Uh, they're awesome. If you haven't used them before, you really, you can't use them on anything but a straight shaft, weed eater. Um, this one doesn't look quite that awesome because I've hit too many fences with it. But, um, new out of the box, man, you could really cut some stuff down with them. And these awesome action shots right here are me picking up limbs. Riveting. Uh, what I'm using there is a DeWalt 16 inch uh, flex bolt chainsaw nowhere near the power of you know the steel that i have on the back of the truck but just for little limbs uh privet little stuff like that it's a lot better it's a lot easier um, than the 25 inch steel so uh, i'll quit talking because i know you really want to see me pulling on those limbs
graceful. Uh, New YouTuber rookie mistake is uh, I forgot to hit record on my cam that I had on my head. So I'd already cleaned out the other side of the pipe um, and crawled up in the pipe, which was just good action shots. Um, here, you can see how well the water is flowing now. I've gotten a, most of the debris out of the way as far as the large sticks and stuff. Um, and if you're watching this video, I have no idea why. <laughs> I'm cleaning out a freaking pipe. If you're watching this video, like, you need a hobby. <laughs> There we go. Slowing it down for that. Look at that action. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm just going to rent a mini excavator because this is going to take forever. I'm not that committed, so that should be good for now. Like I said, we got a good flow all the way around. Check this side out. Probably need to clear that down there a little bit. But there you go. Well, that wasn't the way I intended it to go today, but uh, we did get a little bit of stuff cleared out. Not much, but we got the pipe loose the beaver dam broken away and um the water's flowing really good now that pool's probably gone down two foot right there now all we gotta do is find out where the beavers are and um either learn how to trap which i've never trapped a beaver before or hire somebody but um i know this that if we allow that to keep going then this road's gonna wash out again. This road washed out. You can tell I've been piling bricks and crap. Um, we got 12 inches of rain in like 12 hours uh, a couple years ago. And it, the water was over to where that pile, pile is. It was all through the field there. So it's important that I keep this open because uh, I don't wanna have to run a Mini X and fill this road in again at some point I'm gonna to have to redo this pipe while I was down there digging stuff out it was uh, rusted out at the bottom so that's part of what's getting stuff caught up in the middle so anyway that's just part of it um, hopefully next weekend I get all this cleared out finish clearing that out and I'll have a good area Good area to swim when it comes to spring. Smash that like button and hit that bell. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.